true that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind Greetings. today i want to speak to you on the topic of heartfulness meditation and how abdullah the black mystic from ethiopia never got a mentor how he taught never heartfulness meditation with the proper understanding of how to interpret the Bible by teaching him the Bible along with the Kabbalah and teaching him that the Bible is a book of mind science and that the stories are there in the Bible to teach you how to live a life of abundance and prosperity if you would be willing to look inwardly to discover the key to the kingdom for the kingdom of God is within you therefore where your heart is there shall the treasure be also or where your treasure is there your heart will be also I'm saying to you that the place of the heart is the place of feeling it's the place of emotion it's the place of joy peace and happiness and we know Jerusalem means the place of joy, peace, and happiness. And you're told that the Christ rode and asked all the way into Jerusalem, into a triumphant entry. And I'm saying to you, it's all about you taking your stubborn mind and bringing it into a place of concentration where you can concentrate deeply upon your heart which is your heart chakra the place of emotion whereby we all know that emotion is energy in motion and everything is energy vibration and frequency therefore when you want to send a frequency out to give you the right results that you so desire it must be heartfelt. It must be done with strong feeling. Therefore, it's mindful. Uh, sorry, it, it's heartfulness meditation. Okay, because true prayer is desire and meditation. But this meditation must be a heartful meditation. It must be done from the heart. So, when the Bible says, if thou can't believe, all things are possible to them that believe. That belief is a feeling. And it must be felt by the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind would react based on the feeling that it receives or uh, that which has been impressed upon it. And it takes heartful meditation to produce that kind of feeling that is why you're told that you must love the lord thy god with all your heart and all your strength and to love your neighbor as you love yourself because the self of man is god so you definitely have to activate yourself which is your higher self your true self and it must be done from the heart heartfulness meditation is the key to create your reality consciously that is why the bible has always been speaking about the heart and it always tells you to think from the heart not from the brain you see your brain is just a transmitter and a receiver of frequency and when you activate that that feeling from the heart and you send out that that powerful vib vibration and frequency you're told according to Isaiah 55 and 11 that your words are your thoughts which are frequencies that they would not return unto you void but they must accomplish that would you send it to and pass many things where to you send it so my brother and my sisters it's very important for you to realize how powerful the heart is and that it's more powerful than anything else and that everything starts from a heartbeat and when you die you have your, 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 your last heartbeat. So, my brother and my sisters, 
if you're gonna go into visualization i would definitely encourage you to acquire first of all the feeling and you can do so by meditating on something in a very very deep way that you so desire or you can listen to some sort of motivational speaking or uh, listen to something that would motivate you and give you that feeling and it's only until you get into that strong powerful feeling of your wish being fulfilled that I will encourage you to get into your visualization with that same feeling and you will feel the, the, the vibration that will be produced from your heart and it will be connected with the brain and send that message out into the ether. So my brother and my sister, it's very, very important for you to understand how you must connect your heart to all of your manifestations. It must all be heartfelt. It must all be heartful meditation for you to enjoy your manifestation and for you to receive your manifestation. That is why you're told that feeling is the secret. Because the field, which is the, the electromagnetic field that's on the outside, is on the inside, at the place of the heart. So the field, as in F I E L D, that is within, will reflect on the field that is without. Okay, because we are all magnetic and electrical beings. Your spirit having a human experience. Okay, so with that being said, my brother, my sisters, you know that is why it is very, very important for you to understand that everything that was taught to Neville Garden by Abdullah is point you back to believing in yourself and to love yourself. And to accept yourself and to basically teach you that true salvation is self-realization. It's not so much about what you can manifest or how much you can manifest. But it is basically you discovering your true self, your higher self and realizing that true salvation, as I said before, is self-realization. And you understanding that the greatest lie that has been ever fed to humanity is the Jesus and Mary story whereby it was fed to you as literal and as secular history. And many teachers of the work of Neville Garden, they refused to go into the Bible to expose all of the lies that were taught to you to keep you in mental slavery. But I'm here to bring to you the message of liberty that will set you free. That's why I'm pointing you to look inwardly and to practice heartful meditation. Let it all come from the heart. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, it makes sense to you and it really resonates with you. I would like to say to you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work, we have a PayPal and the link is down below. Feel free to do so if you feel strongly led. To do so also i have a patron and if you would like to be a part of that community there's a lot of work that is there that would help you and i have a course they call the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and it's for people who are donating at least 20 or more dollars but for those who cannot afford that there's more than enough information for you otherwise that you can really feed upon and get any amount of results that you so desire however those of you who will feel led to take the inner sun science and technology course, I want to say to you that it's all about aligning with the sun, the light that is within you. And you understanding how important it is for you to align with nature. Okay? Because the Lord thy God is a sun. Okay? And a shield and no good thing which he withhold from you. Psalms 84 11. And you're told in. in, in Malachi 4 and 2 also that his son, yes, the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And that 
rising within you is an awakened imagination. And I want you to awaken your imagination by understanding that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there is anything made that was made. So if you feel led, just go ahead and follow your intuition. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.